Hi everybody, what's up? And welcome back to House of a Warrior. So today, as you can see, I'm coming at you live from my kitchen because I want to cook and have lunch. <laughs> and so I wanted you to come along with me so that I show you what could possibly be a new recipe to you. Um, anyway, so today we are making fish, uh, coconut fish to be exact. And it's one of my specialties so I just want to show quickly show you my ingredients I have um, tomatoes which I have grated yeah you can choose to blend but uh, blending requires you to add some water into the blender and that is gonna make the fish to have a lot of water and we don't want this guy running away and swimming back into the ocean so tomatoes grated those are two big tomatoes one finely chopped onion my hands are clean i have dania i have assorted spices in here i have fish masala i have oregano i have parsley uh, garam masala and just a tiny pinch of black pepper because I have kids and I just wanted to just have the, you know, the taste from afar. I have some salt and I have my cup of coconut milk over here. Okay, that's about it. And then our fish. This fish was really big, so I had to cut it up into three pieces. Okay. So up to there, we are fine, and I have a big, 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 big cooking pot, yeah? So let's get to cooking. What do you put first, the onions or the oil? Huh? Comment down below and tell me what your order is. Just a little oil, guys. Just a little. Let us avoid problems we can avoid. <laughs> yeah. So while that cooks. let that cook for a bit until it's brown you guys cooking and filming is a task I don't even know how I'm gonna show you guys inside the pot but I'll figure it out so let me figure that out while my onions brown okay go cool. you guys I could not for the life of me figure out how to show you inside my pot um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. How do you people do it? Yeah. If anyone knows how I can do this for next time, please tell me down below. But in the meantime, I have Google on standby. Let me tell you the benefits of fish. Fish is very nutritious, first of all. It is. And uh, the benefits, especially for my warriors out there, eat a lot of fish because it is full of... Um, wait, I lost it. Oh, sorry. It is it is rich in calcium, uh, phosphorus, and it is also a great source of minerals like iron, uh, zinc, iodine, magnesium, and potassium. So I don't know what all those things mean, but um, people have told me fish is good. The doctors, everybody, fish is good. So eat fish as often as you can, and uh, yeah, yeah. So. Today is a Thursday. My kids are closing school today, so it is a good. It's a good day. It's uh, you know at least we can like sleep in a bit for the next one week because they're only closing for a week. And their father is on their way. Is on the way back home. He's been away for work, um, and we miss him. The kids miss him. I miss him. So it's a good day. And how else will we celebrate if not with fish? Yeah. So, you know what, there's nothing that hurts. I woke up feeling great, nothing, nothing hurts, except maybe my headache. I've been having a crazy headache, guys, yeah? And I think it's just because I am low on HB, 
and I think I should make an appointment and go see my doctor. But other than that, I am of good health today. The sun is shining. The spirit of the Lord is shining even brighter in my heart and in my life. And it's just a very, a very positive day. So I hope everyone is having a good day and everyone stays encouraged and keep hope alive. Even if today is not your day, tomorrow will be. Yeah? So let's go on with the cooking. And my onions are ready. So I'm going to put on my grated tomatoes. Yeah. I'm going to put on my grated tomatoes and then immediately after that, put in your assorted spices. So that they cook together, so that they marry well. I don't know why people say that, but yeah, so that they marry well. And then put a pinch of salt because you don't want your food over salted and you can't go back to take it out so people will add salt at the table although that is also not advised so I'm going to cover this up for like five minutes on low heat and then when I open it up I will show you our progress okay so there we are I hope I'm not shaking too much I'm using my other hand and that looks good to me yeah so at this point you want to pour in your uh, your coconut milk and this is I think around 300 ml yeah you want to pour in your <laughs> oh my god guys I hope I'm not shaking too much and annoying you in the process but yeah oops my fingers yeah so uh, after pouring that up there's some left in the cup and where I come from you don't leave anything anything at all so we are going to put some very tiny bit of water in the cup I always have some hot water ready and I'm going to put just a little bit yeah just to swish and swash oh sorry inside my cup yeah, just so that I don't leave anything, anything, anything. Coconut milk is expensive. Yeah. That looks a little too watery to me. But it's fine. The fish doesn't have a chance of running away with that. Yeah, look at how all the oregano looks on top of that. It looks so nice. Yeah, so now we're going to place our fish inside gently. This was a humongous fish. And the head, this is my favorite. This is what I can't wait to eat. If you're not a head person, like a, a head fish person, we can't be friends. Yeah? Tell me what is your favorite part, okay? But anyway, so I'm going to cover that up again for another five minutes on low heat. And then I will turn the fish around so that it cooks on both sides. Yeah. And then cook it again for another five minutes. Yeah. And then it will be ready. We will garnish with some of our dania and eat with some spinach and ugali. Yeah. But anyway, you guys, I know people really love deep fried fish. Even when you're cooking it, I know people really love the fact that it's deep fried and all that but try it with raw fish it's really really nice and no nutrients have been lost in the process of deep, deep frying it and all that so it's really really uh, delicious and nutritious as well if it is just as raw okay so we'll see you in a bit hey guys so we are done our food is ready I'm holding the camera sorry if I am too much in your face and I just wanted to say whatever it is that you cook just cook it with a little love in it you know you might not have the all the spices that other people use or the nice cookware um, you just have basic stuff all that doesn't matter if you do not cook with a little love in your heart just put a little love like what you do and like you know the painting in my kitchen says 
this kitchen is seasoned with love yeah so let me show you my meal it's ready i'm hungry i haven't had a meal today it's past midday and this is my food that is the fish my head i cannot wait i've already tasted it it is a little under salted but it's fine and then i'm having with ugali and some spinach just basic spinach but anyway that is where i end the video um please like uh this video subscribe if you haven't already it's free uh join the family let's fill this house up and i will see you next time bye bye